We are now rolling. So, uh, first of all, Mr. Joe Starenko, Jim Starenko, tell me what it was like working with Joe Sinato and having him ink some of your pencils. Well, there's nothing like collaborating with the uh, people that you trust and that you love and that whose work you admire. And I remember, uh, I remember becoming a fan of, of Joe Sinnott's work when I was maybe 15 years old. I think I discovered him by reading the Atlas line of books, which ultimately became, became Marvel. And it was a great kick for me to collaborate with one of my idols. This is what I say about Joe. He made me look professional. He took my crude amateurish drawings and brought them up to speed every time. What a guy. What, what was it about his style that stands out for you and other artists perhaps? One of the things I liked about Joe's work is that his inking, which is very precise, and Joe is a, Joe is a consummate draftsman, so he's not just a guy who inks other people's lines. He improves it because he's a very skilled artist to begin with. He improved my work. And his inking is very similar to my inking. As against, let's say, Frankie Giacoya. Frankie has a, or had a kind of kniff look to his work, which was in another area than my natural style. Although he made a beautiful statement when he worked on, on my material. Now you asked me a question a moment or two ago about fighting, fighting for, uh, for Joe to participate as a, uh, as a collaborator. Every job that I brought into Marvel, maybe after the first five books, First thing I did when I was talking to Stan was saying, is Joe Sinnott's schedule clear enough that he can ink this issue? And of course, that's when the fight would really begin because Joe's schedule was packed. Everybody wanted to, Sinnott to ink their work. But every once in a while, I think I was persuasive enough, and he did some of my, what I consider some of my best comic book work improved it all the way. Uh, I can tell you one story that, uh, that Joe loves to remind me of when we get together. We were, uh, we were working on an issue that fell right in the middle of winter. And I would send Joe pages maybe like five or six at a time as I was finished uh, penciling them. And unfortunately, this was in December, and Joe remembers, I don't remember, but Joe remembers getting a stack of pages on the day before Christmas. And he inked them on Christmas Eve. And I think he never forgave me. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Well, final question, was there a, a particular uh, character or, or book that you really enjoyed either the finished, yeah, clearly you enjoyed the finished product, but that you maybe wanted him to ink because you've done so many different projects? I can't answer that question. It's against the law because all of my comic book work, all of my pages are like my children. So well, I can't make that determination. I'm going to leave that up to you and the people listening to this interview. And one question for me. What's it like for you to have all this body of work and see so many people come up to you with such respect and, and pride in meeting you? Well, as you may know, I am very, very uh, fan receptive because when I meet the people that have read my work, or that buy it or come here for signatures. These are the people that put me on the map, so I treat them all with great respect and try to give them everything that I possibly can at every show. That's my mantra.